Hi, this is Bruce Hansen with Sunbelt Marketing, and today we're going to be talking about Lang pumps, specifically the offering here at Sunbelt. Uh, a lot of people ask me, why do I need a circulator pump? And have you ever been in a situation where you may be at a shower or a lavatory that's far away from the water heater in your house and it takes like two or three minutes before you get hot water? That's because the water heater has to push all of the cold water out of the line before hot water will actually get to your fixture. So how do we solve that problem? We have to circulate the hot water that's inside of the pipes. So Sunbelt offers a variety of pumps by Lang. The first one is going to be the E1, and I'll show you some of the uh, accessories that can be put with the E1 here in a second. But basically, this is our standard pump. It's going to be installed in houses with a dedicated return loop. It's got seven variable speeds, which can reach different pump curves, uh, depending on the needs of your application. It can be hardwired or pigtailed in or plugged in. And it's also got an ECM motor. So as you can see, this is just an E1 with a timer. This is an E1 with an integrated check valve a um, air purge valve and a ball shutoff valve. And now let's talk about um, ECM motors a little bit. ECM motors or electronically commutated motors use magnets to spin the impeller. These magnets constantly change polarity, which spins the impeller without the use of a seal or a shaft. It creates a lot less leak paths. The next pump in our offering is the E10 series. This is a little bit larger pump designed for hot water circulation loops. It has a little bit higher horsepower, which can ideally be used with longer circulation loops. Like if you have a four story house, you might wanna use this guy. It's got a higher pump curve. It operates with a proportional pressure setting that will help trip tankless water heaters into thinking that a uh, valve is open downstream it will provide enough flow to do that. Same as the other units, this has a um, seven speed adjustable dial. It can be hardwired or it can be plugged in, but this one has flanges and a stainless steel volute. So a lot of people ask me, what do I do if my house doesn't have a dedicated return loop? You'd have to use some kind of a retrofit pump like the E1 Auto Cert. These are going to be installed under the furthest fixture from the water heater, typically underneath a lavatory. And what this does is it basically goes underneath the sink. You got hot coming in and hot going up to the faucet, cold going up to the faucet and cold going back. And what it's going to do is as there's a need for water, when this, when this turns on, it's going to be pulling hot water from this side and pushing it through into the cold water side till it gets to the desired temperature that you want. This specific model has a timer. It's also got an aquastat where you can set the temperature of the water you want from 71, 77 to 91. It's got an ECM motor and it can be hardwired or pigtailed. But if you have any questions about Lang pumps, please click the links below for pump curves, pump crosses, and data sheets. Thank you.